All right, we're back for some more PowerShell, showing my scripts. This is video number five, and uh, let's just get going. So we ended up with uh, get build date. Uh, what do we got? Get computer by model. Let's take a look at this. Um, basically thrown into a variable the results of this command here. So get AD computer uh, and filter by a name. This is not by model. This is just by name. So I have this named wrong. <laughs> this should be get computers by name prefix or something like that. But essentially that's what this does. Next up, get drive space. Of course, you can find this anywhere. There's tons of stuff out there to calculate how much... Um, Free space is left and presented to you in a in a human readable format. And next up, get Dymo resolution. Uh, at some point, we had a bunch of Dymo label printers at that last place I worked, and they don't have them anymore. We went out to a few print servers, and it says they list anything with a printer that contains a name or at least is prefixed with LBL and vertical resolution, which is a configuration within the driver, I believe which is why we can use that here, uh, equals 300. We probably had issues with the Dymo label printer. I don't remember. Next up, get EAS device report. What? Exchange server active sync. Okay, so back when we had an on-prem exchange server, we also dealt with the exchange active sync. I had to find something out there that would work to be able to identify the mailboxes that have EAS uh, enabled or something like that. Next up, get folder permissions. So, yeah, I'm writing stuff the results to a CSV file. And then the headers of that file are gonna contain stuff and things. And then if it exists, delete it. And then it'll add content to it. Root pad, all right, folders. For each folder and folders, we're gonna create another variable for ACLs. For each ACL and ACLs, out file, we're gonna return. So we're just identifying and, and, and writing out all the permissions for a particular folder and probably subfolders. Next up, get free space. Again, it's probably similar or maybe the same as get drive space, but let's take a look. You might, well, that doesn't look good. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and delete that one. Next up, get HTML output. Generates an HTML based system report for one or more computers. Each computer specifies the result in a separate HTML file. Specify the path. I don't have the energy right now to check that out in detail, but if it sounds interesting to you, let me know and I will do some deep dive. Next up, get HTML output sample. Probably when I was testing and I was learning. So anytime I'm trying to learn something, I'll try to use something very simple, a command very simple, like get service. Now this one is not get service, this is using WMI, but there's probably a reason for it. Maybe because I was looking for the start mode. I don't recall. I was just doing some HTML sample stuff. Next up, get inactive computers. Probably does what it says it's gonna do. Gets the timestamps for all computers in domain that have not logged in since after specified. Next up, get info master. Why did I just hit enter? Let's drag that sucker. It generates an HTML based report. Uh, sounds like the same thing as the other one. So we're gonna bypass that. Get learning hash, learning hash. Why did I hit enter again? Don't put it in there. At some point I was teaching my, uh, not teaching myself, I was trying to learn, dealing with hashes and everything. So next up, get log on history. I have a problem hitting enter, I suppose. Oh, I have a lot of tabs now. Get log on history. And this probably goes in and finds the log on history for a particular person for the local host by default, or you can pop in the parameter computer name and pop in a computer name. That's gonna be it for this video. If you guys wanna see more, particular scripts from within this video, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do some deep diving at some point and I'll throw up a video for you. All right guys, later.